Good morning everybody from the Disney Character Warehouse. We're here because it's been about a month since we've been back mm -hmm. and I thought maybe there needs to be a different perspective. Is like, that why I'm here? That's why you're here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I always point out stuff that's like Star Wars, action figures, maybe there, you'll be able to find some more Disney princess type stuff. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or we'll just find the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out. I'm excited to be here you guys. I haven't been to the outlet in so long. We walk in and Jen's like, oh my goodness, it's so busy. And I'm like, I know this is how it always is. This I've is never crazy. been here on a slow day. That line is like really long. Yeah, one time I came and the line was all the way back and then wrapped around this way and then came back. That's crazy. I don't think anything's worth that line. Well, we'll, we'll one do one dollar t shirts yeah. were pretty good. Finally, whirly gigs. It's about time. Oh, I thought it was a pinwheel. I, it's, I think that's the same thing, right? I don't know. Is a whirly gig a pinwheel? And why is it not spinning very well? I think that's why it's 99 cents. I, I wouldn't imagine this thing costing more than 99 cents at the parks. What is it? For 9.99, you can get this towel that's in a bag. Oh, it's a bag towel. Yeah, towel bag. So the last time we came, these were in the back of the store. Now they pushed them out to the front. And you know what's really funny? Last time we were talking about how they have the state fair shirts on the website. And today, I'm wearing mine from Missouri. I almost wore mine. So this one's different than these. I should have worn mine. And these are all $8.99 a piece. Did you know that for $18.99, you can get some Alaska sweatpants? Oh, well, Alaska from the cruise line. Yeah, these are actually really nice. I don't know if they're $19 nice. I like the Virginia ones a lot. This one right here says the American Adventure on the side of it from Epcot. Oh. Do all of them say that? I guess, yeah. Yeah, does that one? These do too. Okay, but so I guess, it. no. I guess oh. these were from the American Adventure Pavilion at Epcot. I had no idea. Huh. Do you want some Disney Capri pants? Um, you know, let's see how much they are. That'll, 19, that'll tell me. 1999. That's my guess. I don't think they're on sale. Oh no. <laughs> oh. $13. Oh, I was close. Ish. Rivers of Light. $9.99. Gosh, I forgot they had merchandise for that. Yeah. It's still still showing though, but the merchandise is here at the outlet. I like how he's pointing at like your... That's just how Jack Sparrow sits, like stands. Because everybody's heard of him, right? <laughs> for a second I thought this said Dead Mentello. Dead Mentel No Tales. This is the Alice in Wonderland like pinup dress. Oh, how much is it? It's $44 and it's so cute. How much was it originally? Oh, a lot more. 119? 150. 150. But and what sizes do they have? Just smalls? Really Three small. smalls? Oh. But they have pockets. Oh, that's nice. I know. I love it. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Here she is. Oh, I love it. She looks kind of evil. Yeah. <laughs> and the evil queen looks kind of nice. She looks very beautiful. Is that the evil? The queen of hearts looks kind of nice. Right. They call yeah. her the evil queen. Sorry. They have a Star Wars poodle dress. This here's, is such a cute idea. Here's how they get you though. It doesn't have any tool inside of it, so it's not fluffy. Well, you gotta go. Like yeah. Well, how much is this one? Oh, I missed it. 44. 34. 34.99. This is nice. With an AT-80. What is this? Is that an AT-80? I don't know. Or an AT-AT? I always get it wrong, but yeah. I love this. Well, they have lots of sizes in the orange bird one. This is $50. $50? Yeah. It's very nice. I like it a lot. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Banana. Is that what he's saying? He says? He says manamana. The orange bird? No, but they're playing it in the background right now. Oh. I this is nice. This. You're gonna get it? It's not, it's it's very much cheaper than it was originally. I don't think I'd have anywhere to wear it, but orange is my favorite color. It's true. I don't know, we'll see. Oh no, the line's definitely getting much, much longer now. Is this like a busy time? I don't know, the part, it, it just opened, so I don't know. Do you want some cupcake socks? I like that they have the Mickey Mouse ears well, on the cupcake. Well, they're all like Donald and oh. Minnie. Yeah, they're super cute. Oh, that's but, cool. But I'm not a, a small youth anymore. Small youth? How much are they though? Um, uh, $3. Oh, that's not bad at all. I love these. I feel like I could stretch out some socks for $3. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen light up mini ears at a Disney store. I've just seen them at like Target. And they're are, very tiny. It doesn't say how many. Are these for babies? Yeah, they're for, for little children. Are they? Yeah. Um, Does it hurt? I don't know. It just says that they're... Uh, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't say how much they are. Maybe I do have baby hands or maybe one? Oh, I was just saying it's orange and I thought maybe it was <laughs> going to say orange was a price over here, but it doesn't actually give the price of these. This is that crazy tall hat. Yeah. Let's see. It's only $5. I wonder why. Because it's huge. <laughs> it's like a... a cartoon hat. I think that's the point. <laughs> Look at this Epcot food and wine from 2017 for $9.99. Remember these? Oh yeah, those are on sale. They don't have a sale price. I'm sure they do. We'll look. 
But I, I loved these when they came out. Let me see. I never actually got to try them on. Yeah, Christmas ears. Oh, well, they're fun. It's always Christmas at the outlets. Isn't this? Do you guys remember the things that we used to have when we were kids called popples? Well, I mean, when I was a kid. <laughs> and they're they're reversible. Like he goes inside of the rock, and he's a rock, or he flips the other way around, and he's and he's a. Uh, he either goes inside of the rock and he looks like a rock. Could you imagine if you gave your kids, you're like, I got you this pet rock. An avocado. Thanks. <laughs> and then when you flip him the other way around, thank you. He's a little troll from Frozen. I, it's, I think the reason why it's on sale is because it's hard to get out. Right? How much is it? Um, it is 10 bucks. Well, that's not bad. He's got a rock on his back. Oh, this is interesting. We can buy Javianas for... Uh, Eleven dollars. What are these though? Are they for? Oh, I thought maybe they were like a special Disney thing, but they're not. No, they're just regular old Javianas, and it looks like they've kind of got a lot of different sizes here. I don't know if you guys remember, but back around Christmas, we went to the Starbucks, and they're like touting this as their special holiday mug, and now here it is at the outlets for five ninety nine. I wonder though. Okay, this is random, but why does it have this lip in here? I think there used to be a lid that goes with it. Where's my lid? Oh, I don't know. That's why it's so cheap. <laughs> they have lots of limited edition Very Merry Christmas Party pins. They got Minnie and Donald but and Chip and Dale. Here's what I dislike about this. They're very clearly not limited edition. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of them, isn't there? So I would always wait and just get them at the outlets. So we asked for a little bit of clarification on this deal. They're, they are, they're $1.99 a piece. And if you buy two of them, you get another one for free. I can't believe that. So, and that includes both this style and this style. But I feel bad for people that paid $30 for these. Right? All right, girls. For everybody in town for the princess run this weekend, you can get a run Disney Christmas ornament for $2.99. It's a pretty good deal, although it does say 2017. Maybe you could just like scribble that out. From uh, Holidays Around the World, they changed the name of this to Festival of the Holidays. I love so, this. This is the very last time you'll be able to get an ornament that says holidays around the world. This one's $14 and it has a little light inside. It's very cute. For $9.99, they've got a Black Panther shirt. It's the old school comic book style too. From the Easter egg hunt around Epcot for 99 cents. You don't have to do the Easter egg hunt. You can just come and get little Easter eggs. That's, that's uh, Woody's, what's her name? Jesse. Oh, okay. And Tramp. Oh, I love that. And Lady. name? No, his name's just Tramp. Okay. So, so that's it. We've got Jesse, Lady, and Tramp. I feel like there was one more. Usually they have like Mickey, and, but yeah. I guess maybe not this year. I don't know, but there they are. 99 cents a piece. It's a pretty good deal. You could have an entire Easter basket full of these eggs. I feel like this is like a Polly Pocket, it is. but for Coco. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Oh, it's, it's here that it's getting stuck. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and then they can like... And then he's like, remember me. <laughs> Even though I have to go, remember me. This is cool. Today is the last day for the redhead at our Pirates of the Caribbean. So this oh. is limited edition now because oh. she will no longer be dressed like this. She'll be a pirate now. Do you know what she looks like? The dancing lady emoji. Oh yeah. You know the lady who's like. Oh yeah. She looks just like her. How much is this? It's only $6. That's not bad at all. It's like a, like a thermos. This is a really big with, top. With Miguel, was his name Miguel? I don't know. I just know that you don't get to put very much in here, but he has a large head. Yeah, well it's because it's for fun, right? I guess. How much is it? Six dollars, sorry, I'm new here. Look at this green alien. See, you would think they would keep this in the parks because they're getting ready to open Toy Story Land with alien swirling saucers as a ride in it. I wish, I wish that I could fit into a kid's large. Oh yeah, because it's a youth. This. You think his eyes glow in the dark or something? They're very thick looking. No, I think it's just the way they printed it. Huh. Yeah. That's probably not going to last through very many washes. Stop trying to ruin my dreams. I'm sorry. Tigger, is that you? How much was that shirt? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is why you do this on your own, because I'm dead. <laughs> um, $8. Oh, that's good. And this Tigger one is twelve ninety nine. I really like this. That's cool. Yeah. I like this one too for $9.99, a kid's shirt that says just along for the rides. You would think they'd put something other than the monorail because that's more of a transportation system, but <laughs> you know, maybe a kid really likes the monorail. It's a, a Jack Sparrow sweatshirt, right? Is it a sweatshirt or just a long sleeve shirt? It feels like a sweatshirt. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel like, do I look like him? You do. Say, I, Jack Sparrow, that's me. <laughs> what is the rum? <laughs> and? 
what, what else is he saying? How much is it? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just here to entertain you. I'm not here to actually tell you anything. It's in the armpit, I think. Okay, this one is $20. Oh my. Look at Zerg's blaster here. It's almost like a Nerf gun, but it's from, uh, what's it called? Astro Blasters. So you can blast Zerg away. I like how it's like a very realistic looking Zerg. Like you know? This is like the dystopian future <laughs> of like Toy well, Story. Well, you know what my favorite thing is? I just looked for the price of it and it gives the price in yen. It's oh. 139 yen from Shanghai Disney. What does that mean? That means that this is a toy that was sold at Shanghai Disneyland and now it's here. I'm just curious because I'm not like too big into like the Star Wars like storyline, but are yeah. Ewoks like big party animals? Yeah, they have a big party. Yeah, what I think they try to spit roast C-3PO. Oh, so you want to party like them? <laughs> yeah, you want to eat a robot. Oh, yeah. all right, I mean, YOLO. <laughs> Do you need your acorn apron? I thought this was really cute, like, you know, oh, yeah. it's very retro. It reminds me of, like, the 70s. I like it. And it's 10 bucks. You didn't even nice. have Nice. And here's that pillow that one time I went to Disney's Hollywood Studios, and I was like, don't get this pillow. It's going to be in the outlet soon. I love this. And here it is. How much is it here? Yeah, I think it was like $30 when I was at Disney's Hollywood Studios. $35. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm not sure I really understand this. Well, the other side is the castle, but it no. looks like the castle in Shanghai. I like that it's the castle and a hot air balloon and then a carousel horse and a compass. $25. This is a teapot, I guess. Very strange. Oh. $5.99 for these assorted coffee mugs. I love these. I love the colors. Yeah, and I like these colors too. I feel like this might come off. It's not real, like, as shiny as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a spray-painted gold. I like it though. It's pretty. I like that we're listening to the Tarzan soundtrack in here. <laughs> I'll be in your coffee mug. Look at this nautical-themed one. These aren't real nautical flags. What are you doing, Disney? They have a 45th anniversary Starbucks mug for $5.99. Can I open it? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's not as nice as the You Are Here mugs because it's tall. You can't stack these. I prefer the You Are Here mugs. I do too, but I do like the illustration on this. Yeah, I feel like even $3.99 for this fidget spinner is a little bit too much. Do you want to become your own king of the bus? Oh, well, I do. Well, you can for just a, a one easy payment of $2.99. Oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you look like you're on a Mickey safari. I am. Did you ever find Mickey? I did. Isn't he right here? Oh, yeah. It, no, he's right here. Oh, he's always in my heart. Just like they're saying on the song. I think uh, I think one of the hardest parts about the outlet is, oh, there it is, $5.99. It's trying to find the prices. I like how specific they are in this sign. Only the four inch emoji plush let's see. is on sale. This is one inch from this knuckle to the top of your finger. So let's see, one, two, more like three and four quarters. Wait, more like three <laughs> and four quarters. Wait, Say like three and four quarters one more time. Three and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at this strange chip purse. It's $29. I love the little charm. Oh, yeah. oh it's broken. Oh, no, uh, that's the chip. That's chip. Oh, my gosh. I'm new here. Yeah. I mean, Sorry. why does it have this? What is this for? It's like a drawstring bag. Oh, it's bag. a drawstring yeah. bag. That's very strange. So so it could open up like a, like a cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could probably put your drink in there? What? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they have a stitch backpack. This is only $15. This is kind of cute. Let's see. And it's got a hood on it. You can take the hood off if you're not feeling like you want to wear a stitch head. I mean, who doesn't feel like they want to wear a stitch head? Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Turn around and let me see the back of it. Look at you, your stitch. Are you going to toilet paper the castle any second now? <laughs> I better get my purse, too. <laughs> Oh, th those don't match. Here, take your Mike Wazowski bag as well. Because, why not? <laughs> they have some hard shell Disney suitcases here for $75.99. And they also have another one here that just says Walt Disney World for $79.99. This one's more expensive than this one. It's kind of interesting. But they are down from $200. So, eh, it's kind of a good deal. And they're the, they're the spinner kind too. So that you can... Oh, you yeah. can be... Oh, oh. Oh, brother. <laughs> I didn't do that. That was somebody else. There it is. Spinner. Okay, did you know that um, Monsters, Inc. was the prequel for an alien? I don't believe you. Um, he's like, oh, you guys, my back feels funny. I'm feeling kind of sick. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> Isn't that? That was, that was alien, right? <laughs> it was like the parody of it, I think. <laughs> but isn't that strange? It is strange. I don't 
understand. It's that. kind of like that popple that we showed you earlier, and you shoved Sully inside of Mike Wazowski. They're best friends, and they're attached to that back. Yeah. I mean, that's how the movie went. <laughs> Maybe I saw a different movie. <laughs> it's actually pretty, pretty difficult to get Sully inside of Mike. It's very, like, strange looking. Oh, look. He's got spikes now. Oh my gosh! Did he always have those? Oh no, no those are Sully's. <laughs> Wow. Look, there's, there's a bulbous Mike Wazowski. I love it. It's very similar to the one on my back, but different. It's true. Finally, gold princess shoes for $9.99. I've been looking all over for these. What's that? These are glitter face stickers, and I really wanted to get them, but the line is really too long. Why did you want to get these? Because I thought it'd be cute to be like... I think that that was the 90s. 90s are making a comeback, baby. Are they? Yeah. How much are they? I, I actually don't know. Free. <laughs> oh no, what is he supposed to his, do? His like little stripies light up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. There he is all lit up. Here, let me show you without it so you can see the difference. This is it without it. What, does it never turn off? I think it, it does after time. Oh. oh it's a hexapede. They've got a whole rack full of $9.99 or less, but it looks like it's gonna be hard to find the right size. They're all extra large and extra extra large and 5XL and stuff like that. There's some extra small of these. Yeah. And they are... $9.99? $5.99. Oh, nice. But, but it has a $5.99 tag. Yeah, that's how they do this rack. I don't know why. I think these, it's like when you shop at the outlet and they make things specifically for the outlet. I think that's what this is. I haven't seen those in the park before. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying the quality is different. Oh, okay. Like we used, when I worked at an outlet, that's what we did. You could buy regular price things at the regular store, but we had like knockoff versions almost that were right. like, got worse quality. Gotcha. I like this from Food & Wine, Taste Your Way Around the World for $5.99. I feel like this was here last time for just a little bit more, and now Ooh. it's going down in price. So you gotta come back. Yeah. See so the prices of this. I mean, I like Han Solo, but I don't know that I would want him to captain my cruise ship. Why? Cause he drives kind of kind of intense. Oh. How much is it? Oh, look. That's not bad. No, it's really soft. They uh, have this like Christmas lanyard for sale. And it's got jingle bells on it. I love it. They're so tiny. It's six dollars, and they're teeny tiny. It's funny. You could use this to put your pins on for pin trading. Oh, I love it. They have some regular stuff here, like this is a Roxy shirt. I'm assuming. <laughs> that was a very short dress. It's for your bathing suit, I think. Oh, okay, but, but it's it, only twelve bucks. Yeah, this is very strange. It's a Star Wars box, and you open it up. And there's just a leather Star Wars hat inside? Oh, this reminds me of Janet Jackson. I know. How much do you think it is? I'm gonna say on sale, maybe 15. 37 on Whoa. sale. What was the regular price? 128. Wow. So it's almost $100 off for a leather hat in a box. Still selling the 45th anniversary mugs for $4.99. These are nice, they got two different styles. They're very big. This feel almost like feels like a, yeah. yeah. But I, this is my favorite logo for Disney, for Walt Disney World. So there you have it. That was our trip to the Walt Disney Character Outlet. Mm -hmm. It is getting very busy out here. It's a Sunday afternoon? Yeah, everybody is doing their shopping right now. Right. So we got here right at opening, and I think on the weekends, um, that's not gonna make it less crowded. Right. But if you come on a weekday, I feel like if you get here right at opening, it'll be much less crowded, right? On a weekday? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Also, it was interesting to note that there wasn't too much new stuff. We're still sort of in the Christmas stuff over here. Well, you're right. There was a lot of Christmas stuff, but like you said, some of the things that we saw last time were cheaper. Yeah. So I think I think maybe they didn't get a lot of new stuff in, but did some price adjusting. Yeah, and I think they should be getting Festival of the Arts stuff fairly soon, because that just ended. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how quick it comes. So with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.